the way the media is talking about Haaland, you will think it's never been done before. Well, he was a story. I mean, he was a story. He's been the story. He... Bappe and Neymar on the pitch. Yeah, it's Haaland who everyone's talking about. He's the, the draw. That's God given. And this guy has got talent. Oh. How strong is this guy going to be? Oh, the beast is risen. Um, it's absolutely terrifying what he does. Oh. How do you stop me? Because I'm stronger than you. I can, I'm probably quicker than you, and I, I can score from anywhere. Haaland and Mbappe could be the next four, four best player in the world. It'd be like the, the Cristiano and Messi kind of rival. Have one at Real Madrid and the other one at Barcelona. 0.0 version of the Cristiano Messi. Over the last few weeks, Erling Haaland has given the world a small dose of exactly what he's capable of. He's playing like an established player who's been playing elite football for half a decade. He's already got defenders scrambling to stop him and he's bullying elite defenders around. He's only played eight games in the league so far and yet he's making some Bundesliga fans reconsider who the Rookie of the Year truly is. I actually probably mentioned this, he did earn an incredible Player of the Month card and award playing only 60 minutes scoring five goals over two games pretty insane considering he only played two games and 60 minutes over that month if you think he was all downhill after his first 60 minutes in a Dortmund shirt have a think again so far he's played eight games and scored nine goals over a goal a game of those eight games he's had five starts and three off the bench even him with a very respectable ratio of a goal every 56 minutes oh and just in case you thought he was one of those players he also has two assists as well uh, i think he need to give assists because he scored too much so sometimes it's good also to give assist uh, the last time i give him so now it's okay it's one one and next one I will give him. As it's his debut season in the Champions League, he doesn't quite qualify for a ranking yet. His 10 goals in 8 games puts him joint with Liverpool duo Roberto Firmino and Sergio Mane respectively as the greatest ever joint return by a Champions League debutant. This is remarkable as Haaland is the first person to do it as a teenager. Now let's put that in some context. Top three records for greatest ever goal scoring seasons in the Champions League are held by one man and one man alone, Cristiano Ronaldo, Mr. CR7 himself. His best record and the highest in the Champions League is that season where he scored 17 goals. Fourth best time is where Lionel Messi makes his appearance on this countdown. Apart from Messi's greatest season, 14 goals in that 11 12 season. His next best of the two times he hit 12 goals in that 10-11 season and in the 18-19 season. Messi's best returns always occurred when Barcelona went to the latter rounds of the Champions League, whereas Haaland has actually scored 10 goals in 7 games. What makes this stat truly remarkable is the fact that he scored most of his goals playing at Salzburg. Yes, that's right, it wasn't Barcelona or Real Madrid. Oh, and I should also tell you, he also joins an elite list of people, nine in total, in pretty good company, the likes of Marco Van Basten, as well as Wayne Rooney, to have scored a hat-trick in a debut season in the Champions League. In case you think your eyes are deceiving you, Van Basten to hold this record till day. Here's the most mind-blowing stat of our Haaland's debut season yet. If he continues to score at the exact same rate, over a goal a game, he is actually on course to easily break the Champions League record. Become the greatest scorer in the history of the competition, period. Now, before I have people in the comments, as you probably say, he'll probably go a long way before he can deliver a proper and credible imitation of Cristiano Ronaldo, man who has done it consistently over a number of years with 128 goals in 169 games delivered bucket loads in the champions league erling harland is quickly silencing his doubters and he's showing why he's the most hyped prospect to come out in the last five years but the way the media is talking about harland you'll think it's never been done before
if you didn't have the numbers in front of you, you would be under the impression that Erling is having the greatest start of any 19 year old in a top 5 European league period. I mean, you would think ESPN legally adopted the kid, judging by how much they talk about him. Since Erling Haaland's debut on January the 18th, ESPN have gone on to post about him on 35 separate occasions. But if I was saying it was only ESPN, I will certainly be lying because Eric Haaland has gone viral in a number of different ways. I know, stats about posts on ESPN is pretty arbitrary, but that does sum up Erling Haaland's fledgling Dortmund career till date. So at this point, I thought it'd be cool to have a look at some of the top teenagers who absolutely burst onto the scene and compare them with Haaland. So, there's R9 who had totally won the World Cup before he was 20 and scored 35 and 36 games. Also World Player of the Year as well, all before 20. Also the spiritual leader of Barcelona, the great Johan Cruyff who had scored 41 in 41 before he was 20. Stopping this after the next one, the great Pele, the man who at 16, what he did, well, it should be legal. Could have mentioned Marco van Basten, a man whose goal scoring records as a teenager is absolutely ridiculous and still holds that record for the most goals for in a debut season in a single match. And I could have also had an honourable mention to Raul Gonzalez, the youngest ever scorer of a hat trick in the Champions League. But you get the point, there are loads of goal scorers who have scored goals before they were 20. So, when people regard Haaland as a 19 year old who's doing things that has never been done before, that's not entirely true. Forward has gone to make his debut and take European football by storm. But he still has a long road ahead of him before we can compare him to all time greats. Oh, never mind, too late. We've already seen teenagers impact the game, just like Haaland. Don't get me wrong, I've always maintained the idea that Erling Haaland is a generational player. Each and every game, he's proven exactly why. On Haaland's debut for Dortmund, he put on a super sub clinic that would make question whether I was watching Haaland or I was watching a young Marco Van Basten. After only making the subs bench, and not coming on until the final 20 minutes. Haaland doubters and haters were getting their Twitter fingers ready to go on to Twitter and actually say he was overhyped when he came on and totally changed that game, scoring a hat-trick in 20 minutes, an incredible start, and recently voted this month as the greatest ever debut by a Bundesliga player ever. And boy oh boy, in those final 20 minutes, did he put on a show. Haaland scored more goals in that 20 minute cameo than most strikers will ever score in one single game. An absolute hat-trick, which a lot of players will never actually meet. So, I guess you can say his debut went pretty well. Which led me to question, who's got the greatest debut from a striker ever in world football? 18 year old Wayne Bruni scored that amazing hat trick versus Fenerbahce. It was also Robbie Fowler who scored 5 goals in his Anfield debut in a row over Fulham. Legendary Brazilian striker Romario also makes the grade, having a hat trick on his debut for Barcelona. Of this next dynamic duo, never really got things going, but Ronaldo and Christian Vieri totally set the world alight on debuts, with Christian Vieri scoring a hat trick and Ronaldo only spending 27 minutes coming on for Real Madrid and scoring two goals before going off to a standing ovation. I can also give an honorary mention to Alan Smith at Leeds, Makeda at Manchester United and also James Wilson. The point is, there have been a lot of great stars who go on to produce great players, but we've also seen our fair share of great stars that have ended up fizzling out and not really producing much. So, is Erling Haaland setting a record for how well a teenager can absolutely begin his career at a new club? Not really. He is, however, quickly establishing himself as one of the elite strikers 
in world football, especially one of the top five leagues in Europe. But production and value delivered from a teenage sensation has occurred before. In fact, it's not always an indication of future success. Haaland doing things that has never been done from a rookie? No. However, he's got us all tuned in for what could be the next elite striking sensation in world football. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a comment. And as always, until next time.